Here we are loading into a power level 160 four player retrieve the data. I'm loading into this on private. I'm going to use my standard mushroom build. So I've got base Carl in the lead for lofty architecture for the increased building health, supercharged traps for the traps to do a bit more damage, mega base to increase the connectivity by one, power modulation to heal the structures, frozen castle to slow enemies that walk on structures, Cupid's arrow to make the bow more effective, survivalist to keep me healed up, banner so I can set a spawn point and slow field in case anything goes wrong. And we're straight in and loading up the mission. Once we get into the mission, first thing to do is look up in the sky and to find the balloon and then run all the way over there. You know those rumors we've been hearing about an even more dangerous part of the storm? A corrosive storm that closes in on you, eventually crawling you alive? Remember how I said that would never, ever, ever happen here? Uh, this location is quite close to the edge of the map. I can see there's nature husks all around, which means I need to make sure I build in brick. We need to so edit the, the walls so they have, the have doors in them. Place brick walls too high. And then I'm going to place the feet out two tiles each direction. There's a little ramp down there. Some husks are going to come across from there. So you'll want to move quickly. So I'm just going to place a vertical jump pad here so that I can get up and place some floors, two tiles up. And extend these walls up another tile. The walls up here shouldn't take too much punishment so I don't need to worry about making them out of brick. They just really need to withstand the initial attacks from husks inside the tower. There's going to be two floors between this level and the data block. So when you consider this, that's three layers to dig through. The husks are going to, in any husk that might get thrown up there are going to get dissuaded from digging their way through and they're just going to fall off the side and come around to where the traps are anyway. need to be aware of the encampment over there that's going to keep spawning husks at random so what I'm going to do is just move out of the way until all of the husks despawn again and reset the encampment just have to make sure I stay away from that side whilst running the mission So on the ground here, I'm going to use floor freeze traps, only power level 77. They are two times reload, three times durability, one time effect duration. And that means any husk that gets stuck on one should remain stuck on it because by the time they unfreeze with the effect duration, it will be ready to go off again. And now up the top here, I'm going to use these ceiling drop traps, which are Two times reload, two times durability, three times durability perhaps. I'm going to use power level 144, closest to the structure. They don't need to be power level 144, it's just if you make them higher level, they do more damage and have more impact. Although the ceiling drop traps are not necessarily there to kill the husks, they're there to slow the husks down. So I'm not going to use 144s all the way around, you can use 106s further out. You can use 77s if you want on this. The higher level traps, as well as doing more damage, do have a slightly higher impact, so they do have more effect on pushing the husks back. It just depends on whether you're low on particular resources. I generally will use 77s and 106s for all of this, but just because of where that encampment is, I want to make sure that it's as effective as possible. Okay, so now I've put my traps down. What I need to do is build a spot for me to stand out of the way. You don't have to hide out of the way in this type of build, but 
because the circle closes quite tightly there's not as much space to uh, to move around to be able to hit and run and you don't really want to be standing still for too long because although the walls with doors in them are not targetable by husks uh, by smashes and uh, propanes you yourself are and so if you're standing around at the bottom you can attract husks over towards you uh, it could be a thrown propane tank it could be a smasher charging and that can damage the structure so with this build if you can you should stay out of the way as much as possible and if you can't stay out of the way then you need to keep moving around so i'm just going to place some anti-air traps up here these are double range double reload heels build attached and they are just to shoot at any projectiles that are thrown by lobbers they're not going to damage a husk that's thrown by a flinger enough to kill them so they're not really used for that if you do get those kind of husks flingers getting uh, spawning and throwing husks up there you do need to deal with the flingers so as i always say with any of these kind of builds although you can afk in on many occasions you can't always afk so you just need to be aware of what's going on Another thing you'll find that will mess this kind of build up is animals spawning because again, although the structures themselves are not targetable, the animals are and a smasher or other husks can be chasing after an animal and can cause damage to the structures. Raptors can be a particular problem because they can go through doors, which means that they can actually walk inside your defense and the husks will be targeting them in some cases a husk can follow a dinosaur through the door and in other cases a smasher will see the dinosaur they see one's just come out there in other cases a smasher will detect the dinosaur inside the structure and will charge at it when they normally they wouldn't So just showing there what the air banner up the top is for. So if I get knocked, I respawn right out of the way. So any husks that were targeting me lose that targeting. I'm going to start the mission now. Standing right in the middle, shoot, shoot the balloon down. Let's kill this wall first. Shoot the balloon down with my xenon bow. And then as the block of data lands, it will on top. And I can jump up from there and place my base on top place another ceiling on top of me so that as I mentioned before any husks that are thrown up onto the structure at the top will have to dig through a wall and two floors in order to get to the data block and so for them it's going to be much quicker to bash through the sides they will drop off these platforms and walk around under the traps as you can see the spawn point here is the other side of the encampment and then a second spawn point over to the side. Smasher there just wandering slowly along, completely disinterested in the structures, doesn't see anything to target but he's now charging at something, but he's not charging at the structure, he's presumably charging at some kind of animal that's wandering around down there. We've got a second smasher wandering along. Looks like we've got a healing death burst for husks because you can see those flashes of purple as waves of husks get killed and I think that's now three smashes that we've got one of them is destroying a pizza truck one of them has gone down into the bunker and the other ones just kind of stood in a corner looking at a fence he's now charging he's not charging at the structure he'll be charging at an animal somewhere yeah, you can see there's a dinosaur wandering around. If you see a health bar without a power level next to it, that is an animal's health bar. There you can see there's a dinosaur there. Two dinosaurs there, so we've got quite a lot of animals wandering around down here. And as we can see, a wall has been taken out somehow. Presumably that was from uh, an exploding death bomb. 
So just quickly replace that wall. Remember to edit the door into it. So we've lost that block of data. Nothing we can do about that. So I put the slow field up because that gives the wall time to heal up. Got to move away from that encampment pretty quick. Just upgrade the wall as I go. So the trouble is with missions at this kind of level if you lose a wall the data takes a huge amount of damage very very quickly because a lot of hussars will be bunched up by that wall and will pour straight in through the gap they will even walk around from another side to walk through that gap so you need to block those gaps up really really quickly but that slow field there means that I'm able to uh, give the wall enough time to heal back up once that's patched, we should be okay again. Still here, there's still smashes wandering around. I'm just going to try and get them out of the way. Again, because the circle's so small, there isn't really anywhere for me to go and, and hide, other than to get it back up on the AFK spot. Just reset that encampment again. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything chasing after me at this point, so I'm going to quickly run around back up onto the AFK spot you can hear the anti-air traps going off which means that something's being thrown up there can't hear a flinger screaming so I think it's okay so I'm just going to stay up here I can remain alert just because we've taken quite a significant amount of damage to the data if another wall goes down it may well be that I won't have time to repair that wall before more hushes pour in and destroy the data block completely. In order to complete the mission you only have to actually retrieve one piece of data but if you enough hushes are getting into corrupt 15 files then the chances are your block of data is not going to survive anyway. Obviously, maximum rewards is to collect all 16. The next tier down is to collect 75%, so that's at least 12. So losing one or two doesn't make a massive amount of difference. You'll still complete the mission. You still get most of the rewards. And it, when it comes to the power level 160 missions, generally speaking, the reason people are doing them is for the superchargers, and it will still count as a completed mission even if you've only collected 13 or 14 of the data files. Now onto file 10. This is usually the time at which the mini boss spawns and as you can see from the mini map the mini boss is coming in from the northwest corner. It looks like it's got smoke screen on it which means it's going to be difficult to kill from a distance. It appears to be a fat husk so it's not a smasher which is at least one bit of good news for this mission but again the mini bosses are not interested in damaging the structures they're not interested in damaging the objective mini bosses are interested in killing commanders and defenders so by staying up here on this afk spot i'm eight tiles high which means i'm out of the range that the mini boss can actually path to me so it'll just wander around aimlessly underneath until it despawns. On occasion you can get a trap vulnerable mini boss and in those cases if it wanders through the tire traps it can get killed but this is by no means a reliable way to get mini boss kills if you need them. Now I can see down there there's a whole bunch of other animals wandering around so this is uh, looking a bit dicey. I can see health bars with no power level numbers on them there's a wolf there, so it looks like it's a pack of wolves through. I can also hear a flinger throwing projectiles, so I'm less worried about that, so I'm just going to shoot him with a bow. Once you start shooting at a flinger, it tends to not stand still until it thinks it's got into another safe spot. That's a useful bit of uh, information to exploit when you're doing your 
endurance builds if you find there's a spot that flingers like to stand in if you put some sort of trap there that will damage them then you can essentially make the flingers not throw at you because they will move to the preferred spot and if you put say a floor freeze trap there and some dynamos or wall darts or something of that ilk then when the fling walks over there it will essentially get frozen and then killed so it can normally only throw one fling at active defences before it's killed this one is being oh, it's two down there that's why it's shooting quite fast so just take them down because they're not there. collect 15 out of the 16 so not the 100% success rate but that was due to an animal that caused some hustopathic and there we go thank you for watching